Valentine's Day. <laughs> Love is in the air. Oh, I smell it. <laughs> yes. Welcome to another Sunday with Nuts with Dre. I am your host, your boy Dre. And I'm so glad you could take out just a small amount of your time to share it with me. Wow. You know, I say it a lot. Matter of fact, I say it quite often. I think I say it all the time. Hmm. But I really do mean it this time. Not like I did mean it that last time or that time before that last time. That was probably the very last time I said would be the last time. I missed you guys. And again, I'm so honored that you all would just take out a small amount of your time to share another Sunday wet nuts with your boy Dre. And, of course, you know I don't do it for me. I do it because, well, I do it because I love you. I want to help you. It ain't for me because I ain't got no problems. Y'all the one with the problems. (laughs) And I am a giver. So here I am, giving to you yet again. Here we go. This first category, woo, it is the outer order category. I tell you what, I love this segment because, um, of course, the outer order segment has reached and touched so many lives for the best. Because there are a lot of people out there that are living in out of order situations or operating in an out of order manner, and they don't even realize it. Wow. (laughs) Out of order could be you. It could be a family. It could be a friend, co-worker. It could be someone you see at your local grocery store or at the bank. Or a stranger that you're walking past in the park on a bright, sunny, but somewhat chilly day. Wow. I just believe it's our duty and obligation to point out situations uh, to people uh, that are out of order so we can help them do what? Get in order. Again, if you don't recognize any of these in anybody you know, that's because all of them are you, and you are completely out of order in your life. So get in order, all right? Here we go. Out of order. Number one, if this is you, you out of order. Let me tell you something. Women, stop it. Stop it. Do you have a save up some money, okay? Because if this is you, you out of order. If you wearing a wig, Okay, that is so dirty that your wig got dandruff. You out of order. First of all, it's time to you know what? Throw the wig away. Don't even wash the wig. Just throw it away. Or either, why don't you just get your hair done? If this is you, you out of order. Let me tell you what. Mm-hmm. If your feet smell so bad that you got to walk around with some of them look uh, pine uh, trees. That you hang on your uh, your rearview mirror and the, you got to take them and stick them inside your shoe. You out of order. You know what? You what you need to do is uh, get some prescription socks. Yeah. But in fact, you know what? I found that there is something that actually works to get rid of funky feet. Yeah, you go to the doctor and they'll give you something to get rid of those funky feet. You know what it's called? It's called an axe. Think about it. If this is you, you're showing up out of order. Let me tell you something. You old pervert. If you're sitting in church undressing with your eyes, members of the mother boy, if you're sitting in church with your old nasty perverted self undressing with your eyes, members of the mother boy talking about, ooh, wait, I bet she wearing a sexy slip up under that dress. You show enough out of order, and you're going to hell. If this is you, you're out of order, Lord Jesus. If you go to a church and your pastor is wearing a hair weave on top of his ball spot, get out of that church. Ain't nothing but the devil. You out of order. If this is you, you show enough out of order, Lord Jesus. Mm, 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 mm. If your stomach's so big that it's always hurting because every time you walk, you kick it, you out of order. So you know what? Pick your stomach up. Pick your stomach up. Matter of fact, I got something better. Instead of picking your stomach up, why don't you just close your eyes? You know what I'm saying? And if you close your eyes, hopefully you'll lose it. If this is you, you show enough out of order. Lord Jesus. <laughs> if your credit is so bad, you need a co signer when you pay with cash. 
Get your credit right, folks. Get your credit right. Okay? Your credit reflects your character sometimes. Not all the time, but sometimes bad things happen to good people. But now sometimes bad things happen to people that are just bad. I told you I'm helping y'all tonight. This next segment is called What the Hell? What the Hell? Wait a minute. Have you ever seen somebody doing something, somebody say something, or somebody acting a certain way, or even just, you know, looking a certain way, dressed a certain way, and you just like, what the hell was they thinking? What the hell? That's why this segment is called What the Hell? You know what? Number one, what the hell? You at a buffet drinking a Diet Coke. Why would anybody be at a buffet restaurant drinking a Diet Coke? You're defeating the purpose. That Diet Coke ain't doing nothing to all that food you stuffing down your throat. You must, you're going to mess around and pull your esophagus muscle. You're going to break your, come on now. What the hell? Number two. If you, if you got a baby with baby hair and the baby hair is that, come on now. Come on now. What did y'all do to that baby in the womb? When y'all created that baby, how was y'all hair when y'all created that baby? When that baby was conceived, was your hair done? Was his hair done? Come on now. Think about the child. The children are our future. What the hell? Number three. Are you an alcoholic and you're working at a liquor store? You know what? What? You need that. Then don't you going to stay an alcoholic. What the hell, number four? I don't understand this one right here. What the hell? Ain't no handicapped parking spaces at the Special Olympics games. What the? That should be all there is. Oh, my God. Number five, what the hell? Why you got... Why are you walking around being led by a blind CNI dog? Who's leading who? Don't mess around. Both of y'all gonna get uh, hit by a car. I don't understand. What the hell? Number six. What the hell? You a homeless man and you walking around with a no trespassing sign? Wait a minute. Come on now. <laughs> so, so can't nobody be outside? Huh? I'm helping y'all tonight. Shut up. You're welcome. Mm-hmm. This next segment, <laughs> you're welcome for some of the people, not you. We need to watch for some of the people because summer, I mean, come on now, summer ain't too far away. Now, here we are in the middle of February. Okay? We are still in winter, but winter is quickly coming to an end. Right after winter, you know what you got? You got spring. And then summer. So, you know, sometimes the springtime is when you wear that spring gear because it's a little warmer. So some of y'all wearing your summer stuff in the spring. But wait a minute. Some of the stuff that y'all are doing or wearing is for some of the people, but not you. Here we go. For some of the people, not you. Open toe sandals and your toes look like corn on the cob. See, them open to sandals, that's for some of the people, just not you. Number two, that's for some of the people, not you. Wearing a mid-drift shirt and your stomach is drifting over your waistline. See? That's for some of the people, just not you. Number three, that's for some of the people, not you. Telling people you taking summer classes for college, and you ain't even got your GED yet. Look that line. College is for some of the people. Just not you. Number four, that's for some of the people? Not you. Oh, Lord. You sitting at the table eating chocolate cake and giving yourself an insulin shot. See, come on now. That chocolate cake is for some of the people, not you. You eating chocolate cake and then sticking that insulin in your body. Number five, that's for some of the people, not you. You're welcome. I'm helping y'all. Lord Jesus. 
You got your mama telling people you in Iraq when you really in jail. <laughs> oh my God. So where your medals at? What you you gonna walk you gonna walk around with uh, a jumpsuit when you get out with look license plates uh, uh, all duct taped to them? Get out of here. Number six. That's for some of the people, not you. Oh. Why your belly button got mold growing in it? You know what? Stop. Just stop. But you know what that means? That means. You just need to shower. Anyway, uh, number seven, that's for some of the people, not you. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Uh-uh. Why are you so ugly? You got to wear a prescription face mask. You know what? That's that's sad. See, that means that them, them face masks, uh, that's for some of the people, not you. You just need a helmet on, preferably a motorcycle helmet, so they can't see none of your face. Uh, number eight, that's for some of the people, just not you. Lord Jesus. The hair on your chest look like burnt popcorn kernels. See, that that, that, that means you ain't supposed to be wearing no V-neck nothing. Everything in your closet needs to be a turtleneck, okay? <laughs> Matter of fact, when you get in the shower, you ought to have a shirt on. Uh, number nine, that's for some of the people, not you. Your teeth so jacked up, it look like they fighting to get in line. You know what? Yeah, yeah. Then that, you know what? Smiling is for some of the people, just not you. Finally, number 10, that's for some of the people, not you. Lord Jesus. Your food's so bad that your spouse bought you a microwave cookbook. See, that means uh, that, that means cooking is for some of the people, not you. If, 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 if your food tastes so bad, he even got to buy you a how-to-cook in a microwave cookbook. Lord Jesus. You're welcome. This next segment, I'll tell you what, love is in the air. Love is in the air, y'all. Woo, it's Valentine's Day. And as we know, Valentine's Day, of course, it's all about the love. It's all about the love. It's all about the love, right? No, it ain't. It's all about the gifts. It's 30% about the love, 70% about the gifts. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. What you got for me? Hey, it is what it is. Let me tell you something. Just because you give a gift don't mean you can just give any gift. It ain't always the thought that counts. Or maybe it is. And maybe you just ain't, well, you just didn't think it through. These are some bad Valentine's Day gifts that you can give. You know what? You might be the bad Valentine's Day gift giver. Could be a family member, could be a friend, could be a co-worker, could be a, a stranger in the street, someone you see at your local grocery store, at the bank, or somebody you pass as you're walking through the park on a beautiful, sunny, but somewhat chilly day. I mean, we are in winter. Now, depending on what part of the country you live in, might not be so bad. But I just believe that it's our duty and obligation to point out to people when, hey, uh-uh, that ain't a good gift to give. That doesn't say love to me, okay? If you don't recognize any of these bad gift-giving ideas and any of these that I read off, then that's because, well, you agree with them, and you yourself is one hell of a horrible gift giver. You need to take a class on giving good gifts, okay? Here we go. Bad Valentine's Day gifts. This is a bad Valentine's Day gift. Christmas candy. You know what? I, I'm a... <laughs> you let me open up a, 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 a box of Christmas candy on Valentine's Day. Huh? I, I hope you smile when you give it to me. I'm going to take my fist and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to punch you right in your mouth and, and I'm going to push all your chiclets down your throat. Number two. This is a bad Valentine's Day gift. Edible underwear that's already spoiled. You know what? That's just nasty. <laughs> now, she walking around with edible underwear on, or he walking around with edible underwear on, and flies all around his uh, specials. No, 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 no special spot. 
Come on now. That's supposed to be a no fly zone. Number three, this is a bad Valentine's Day gift. Some sexy drawers you borrowed from your mom. You know what you mean. <laughs> you know what? If you don't take some bloomers, man, she's going to slap your face. Number four, this is a bad Valentine's Day gift. Raise a bump lotion. <laughs> I wish. I wish somebody would give me some razor bump lotion. Give me some Okay. Anyway. Number five. This right here is a bad Valentine's Day gift. A five pound bag of flour. Say it's a different type of flour. That's a different type of flour. That's a, I, I, I know it's heavier. I know it's heavier. It weighs a lot more. Okay. But it's it's di- it's a different type of flower, man. It's 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 a different type of flower. Number six. This is a bad Valentine's Day gift. Mouthwash. <laughs> you know what? You know what? Okay. Yeah. That might be a pretty good gift, though, depending on what you. You know what? I'm, I'm, I'm gonna leave that right now because I'm gonna keep this G rated. Number seven. This is a bad Valentine's Day gift. A prepaid debit card that she got to add money to. You know, in that case, uh, you really ain't gave her nothing. <sighs> Number eight, this here is a bad Valentine's Day gift. A brand new wig dipped in chocolate. See, that's a bad Valentine's Day gift because uh, that's just... I mean, you 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 dip the wig in chocolate. That's... That's one way to make it look sweet. Anyway, uh, number nine. This right here is a really bad Valentine's Day gift. Deodorant. What are you trying to say? What are you trying to say? Huh? Huh? No. Uh. Uh-uh. No. No. <laughs> you know what? If you buy somebody deodorant, that's not considered a Valentine's Day gift. That's honestly, if they need it, if they funk it that bad, that you got to buy them deodorant for Valentine's Day just so you can be around them, that's not a gift. That's a PPE. That's a personal protective piece of equipment right there, and it's protecting you. I'm just saying, That's and that's all I'm saying. This right here is a bad Valentine's Day gift. Hemorrhoid cream. No, it's a bad gift. Who the hell is going to help them apply it? I know I'm not. But this right here is a bad Valentine's Day gift. A party. What do you mean? How can a party be a bad gift? Mm-hmm. Depending on how your relationship is, uh, that might not be a bad gift. I'm just saying. <laughs> judge ye not, least ye be judged. Uh, you're welcome. Uh, finally, we come to the church announcements. <laughs> I invite you all to join us, please, as we worship and get our praise on. Join us in the sanctuary. Or feel free to join us as we stream live. For we are the Jesus Take the Wheel. I got the gas. Baptist Church. Now we are small in number, but we are big in faith. I say we are small in number, but we are big in faith. The reason why I like to do the church announcement is because, well, I want to make sure that everyone is kept abreast of what's going on, what's in the church body. Everybody's on one accord, on the same page. There's no saint I like to do the church announcements so uh, everybody can know what's going on with the goings on. But individuals that uh, may not have been able to attend in the sanctuary or uh, don't have internet and are unable to uh, watch us as we stream live for the sick to get dick, dick and the shut it up in. Also, like to do the church announcements for individuals that may have been in the sanctuary worshiping with us, uh, may have been 
uh, watching us as we stream live, but missed some parts or all of the announcements because they were so busy doing stuff they had no business doing. Okay? First of all, let me tell you something. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all going to mess around. Y'all going to make me lose my mind up in here. Y'all going to make me go all out. Up in here. Up in here. Huh? Let me find out who been drinking up all the communion wine. Let me find out who been drinking up all the blood. Huh? Folks can't get no good salvation. We got all body and no blood. You're supposed to have at least 16 pints of, of blood in your body. Something like that. Look back there to check on the, on the blood. You know how much blood we got left? About four or five ounces. Somebody's drinking the blood. Getting drunk in the spirit. No, you're not. Not on my watch. Let me catch you getting in there and drinking all the blood. Huh? You, you're not going to be in this house for the Lord getting tipsy. Uh-uh. But not on my watch. Anyway, announcement number one. Mother Russell, look here. You can have them chocolates uh, that you brought uh, to church. Uh for the folks, uh, yeah, uh, because uh, wasn't nobody eating them. Uh, first of all, uh, that that plate of chocolates you brought, I noticed there was a couple of them that was moving. Yeah, you you might want to you might want to check your chocolate traps, okay, and your roach traps. So you take your chocolates back with you. Now, some number two. Look here, Deacon Johnson. Uh, Ask my wife to be your Valentine again. Ask her again. See what happens to you. Ask my wife to be your Valentine one more time, one more game. And I'm going to rip a hole in your chest, take my ink pen, and sign my name across your heart. Keep playing with it, okay? <laughs> uh, you, you, better know, you, 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 you better recognize. I wasn't always holy. <laughs> I'm a thug for Jesus. Announcement number three. Look at Brother Cleon and uh, Sister Dolores. Uh, they ain't gonna be at church next Sunday, uh, and uh, yeah, they 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 ought to be ashamed of themselves. Uh, earlier this morning, I caught them in my office uh, having sex on my new leather couch. Now they tried to get up and run, uh, but they couldn't. Apparently, they were stuck. Mm. Well, side note, uh, slightly used, I can't say gently used, but slightly used new leather sofa for sale. Taking office. Finally, we come to the part of the announcement that I always look forward to not looking forward to. It's the building fund. As you know, the building fund is... Uh, well, it offers us quite a bit. Uh, adventure, drama, horror, but most of all, unpredictability. As of the day, the building fund has raised glory, glory, glory. And I quote, as of today, the building fund has raised. And I can vouch for this. My temperature. Let me tell y'all something about this building fund, okay? And uh, I'm getting to the point where we're going to stop asking for money for the building fund, okay? We, we, we're we going to stop asking for money for the building fund. Yes, we are. What we're going to start doing, we're gonna, matter of fact, we're going to change it. Uh, we're going to change the building fund uh, from uh, the building fund to the uh, – Please don't make me kick your fund. <laughs> I bet y'all give me money then. Remember, I ain't always been a pastor. <laughs> I'm a thug for Jesus. Thank you so much for joining me for another fun.
And like I like to always do, I'm going to go ahead and pray this out. So I ask you, if you will, all heads are bowed, all eyes are closed. Unless, of course, you're blind, then it really don't matter, does it? I mean, seriously. Really. For real. Wow. Oh, Lord. We thank you for another Sunday with Nuts for Grace. We thank you for another opportunity to come together in firm faith and fellowship. Thank you for making a way out of no way. Opening doors that no man can shut. Thank you for being a lawyer in the courtroom. Guilty, not guilty, mistrial. Thank you for being a doctor in the sick room. Doctor, doctor, free. This is bad. Uh, it's a lot worse than I had anticipated. This brother ain't got no insurance. So, yeah, it's real bad. But most of all, we thank you for loving us more than you could ever love, than we could ever love you or even ourselves. Father, we thank you for just encamping your angels around us, keeping us and protecting us. Thank you for loving and breathing life into us. Lord Jesus, we know that without you, we can do nothing. So why should we even try? Continue to bless us and keep us. Continue to uh, anoint us, Father God, as we go out, Father God, uh, in our day-to-day activities, be with us, Lord Jesus. We know that you'll never leave or forsake us, Father God, and you'll provide every one of our needs according to your riches and glory. May we continue to look to the heavens from which cometh our help. We will be forever mindful to give you the honor, glory, and the praise. These are the blessings we ask in your son Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you all. Enjoy the rest of your Valentine's Day night. <laughs> yeah. You know what's happening here. Uh, okay. I'm sorry. Excuse me. I will see you all next Sunday. It'll be more nuts with more drinks. Cause I, I do have a couple of pieces of candy here, so I'm going to eat me a couple of little bites, and I'm going to put on a little bit of weight. I love you guys. There's nothing you can do about it. If you try to stop my love, I will hurt you. I will run over you like a train running over a hobo, like a freight train barreling down on a hobo. My love hurts. It's pleasure and it's pain. You guys take care. Be blessed and not stressed. Happy Valentine's Day. Love is in the air.